Hey guys, so one of the weirdest things I had to do in college was for my psychology class, I had to take a interest survey. It was a career interest survey, and I had to go to this special place, set up an appointment, because afterwards I had to talk to a counselor about career stuff and all this kind of things. But whenever you fill out this career survey, one thing that it tells you is that it wants you to tell, tell them how much you would like it from one to five, whatever they list, but regardless of skill, like I, if I can't draw a star or even a stick figure, then, and it talks about, you know, drawing, you know, sketching different things, then if I would like it, then I should write a five. But if I don't like it, no matter how good I am at it, let's say I am the best at drawing, doesn't matter if I wouldn't like doing it, I need to put it as a one. And so, the interesting thing about this to me is like a lot of times whenever we go to a church, uh, the pastor or, you know, somebody that's in charge of the, you know, teams and different things, they'll look at it and they'll say, what are your skills? And let's place you in a place that has your skills. You know, like if you're really much, you know, like you're good at talking to people, then let's put you as an usher. And if you're really good at, you know, teaching, then we're going to put you down here with the kids ministry. And the, it just doesn't matter to them what your interests are and I look at this and I'm like man that's crazy because you know with this I, I look at the Bible and I think okay Moses he couldn't speak right he had issues speaking um, you know I look at Paul and he was the best to go to the the Jews and he they, God sends him to the Gentiles I look at all the different people that God picks and he picks them regardless of what they can do actually he usually picks people that are unlikely to be able to do whatever it is that he's calling them to do unlikely to be able to fulfill that calling unlikely to have the talents that it requires from at least an outsider's point of view in order to accomplish it so why do we look and limit ourselves by our talents instead of looking and saying god what is it that i you know me better than i would i do what is it that I would love to do? What is it that you're calling me that you have grace and that you have mercy in order to call me to do it? And then we go after those things. You know, like, I mean, it's the same as my, the career thing I took, you know, the reason they said regardless of skill is because skill can be learned. And God can train us if we're willing to be trained. But if we only allow ourselves and if we as the church only call people towards their talents and their skills that they already have, then they miss a chance to grow. So one of the things is that God doesn't um, doesn't call the qualified. He qualifies the called. So if you listen to your calling, then God will, he, he's going to qualify you. He's going to give you the skills that you need, but you have to put your whole heart in following it, what it is that he's called you to do. So what's your calling? Thanks for taking a minute.